All right, coming up next, good friend of mine, good friend to the room. Everyone, give it up for Alex Simmons. Yes, give it up for comedy, guys. Thank you so much. Yes, give it up for Ben Asher. You know, Ben Asher is an Eastern European Jew in New York City. I'm an Eastern European Jew in New York City. There's like a 98% chance we're first cousins. So. <laughs> Being Jewish in America is actually really weird when you look like me, actually, because it's like you're white, but no. It's like you're a different kind of white, you know? It's like you're alt-white. It's weird. <laughs> it's like I'm a freelance white guy, you know? Like, I, I cannot and will not accept a full-time white guy schedule. But the company keeps giving me shifts. <laughs> and they expect me to be at all the meetings and support the company goals and, and actionable data or like whatever. But then like once the company gets economic anxiety or something, it's like, no, you were a freelancer the whole time. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like a cracker, but I'm a sweet potato cracker. You know, it's different. <laughs> It's really crazy what's going on in, the, in Ukraine, actually, with the, the president of Ukraine fighting off the third largest army and the largest land war in Europe since World War II. I mean, Andy's an Eastern European Jewish comedian. I never get to be the main character in the movie. This is awesome. And he's lasted so long against a vastly superior force, you know? And, like, he's lasted so much longer than they thought that he would. And the oil in the Hanukkah story lasted a lot longer than they thought it would. I say we call the rabbis. I think we have... A new holiday in our hands here, right? You know? <laughs> Alright. Mull it over. We'll do it in a minute. Anyway, Hanukkah wasn't, you know, made in a day or whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it was made in eight! Oh uh, shit! Uh, I <laughs> 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 my shit? Thank you. You guys are fun, I like you. Um, I'm your, like, garden variety, like, nerdy Jewish Brooklyn kid, you know? I grew born and raised in Brooklyn. Um, I'm so New York, thank you, I'm so New York, my blood type is fuck you, mind your business. <laughs> my shoe size is 20 blocks in 8 minutes. <laughs> my favorite cookie is the New York City black and white cookie. Don't ask me which side of the first ounce frosting. <laughs> New York stimulus plan, like if you're a tourist and you're coming into New York City, give them like 200 bucks and make them pay New Yorkers for directions. <laughs> that would be great. I would make like 1200 a week. I got out of waiting tables though. I'm just glad that I got out of waiting tables. I waited tables for 10 years in New York City in Times Square. I got to meet people from all over the world. I got to get stiffed by people from all over the world. That's great. <laughs> You guys are cool. I don't know who's having more fun, me or you. Um, no, I was a manager. Of, I also managed a little bit. I managed a comedy club and a piano bar once, uh, separately. One was a comedy club, the other one was a piano bar. Checking IDs at, door, at doors is fun, actually, because it's like you'll see like this really like pretty younger girl and like a guy who shouldn't be with a younger girl, and like I'll check her ID, and then he's like, oh, you want to check mine? I'm like, I don't even know how creepy this is. Yes. <laughs> I had to kick some guy out once because he was too drunk, and then uh, he was like, listen, listen, high school choir boy. <laughs> Motherfucker, I am a neurodivergent, nerdy Jewish kid from Brooklyn. My middle school choir was yeah. way more famous. <laughs> I went to a communication arts, performing arts high school in Brooklyn, New York. Um, Depending on where you are from US, from the USA, you might call that a snowflake factory or something. Um, it basically just means I can spell Oklahoma because I did the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, musical theater is fun. I, did, I also did seven years of musical theater summer camp. Um, that was fun. I did great things like tap dancing, singing, playing instruments, declining to suck dick. It was great. <laughs> Living proof, it's not a choice, y'all. No. Why did I say y'all? That's weird, I'm Jewish. The Jewish in America, it looked like me, means you can only pull off y'all in text message. True. True. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. We just 
just had an important holiday, actually. It's called Purim, um, where it's the story of a time of culture trying to kill us, you know, like you do. Um, and uh, we were supposed to, like, get drunk and tell the story of the holiday, and it's called the Megillah, and, like, when we hear the name Haman, we stomp and clap, fuck that guy, whatever. And then at the end of the service, the ritual's complete, and Hitler stays dead for another year. <laughs> Am I seeing Encanto? Yes. Yeah. Encanto was so much fun. I love that movie. It was so good. Like, after I saw it, like, I, uh, I asked a friend of mine who was from Columbia, he was like, yo, show me that glowing candle. I'll show you my space laser. Mm. <laughs> but it got me thinking, actually, though, because, like, there's no movie ever, animated or otherwise, but especially Disney, like, there's no movie where Jews are depicted as heroic or powerful or magical purely from being Jewish. You know, like when you think about it, like there's the Prince of Egypt, there can be miracles. You know, like, but that's a biblical story. And then and then you got uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, where Jewish ghosts murder everybody at the end of the film, but nobody in the movie's Jewish. <laughs> and I think comics, I think it's because we're not a savior people, you know? We don't seek converts. In fact, if you want to convert to Judaism, you have to be turning it down three times in a row. Like it's it's in the it's literally written down. You're turning it down three times in a row. Say it with me now. Ethno-religion. <laughs> no. Ethno-religion, yes. I am a diasporatic <coughs> ethnic Russian from an ethno-religion from before recorded time. These jokes write themselves. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? Right, Encanto. So, like, when is Disney going to do, like, like, I don't know, like, Rivka, the last golem, you know? <laughs> like, I, I, want a Dis I want a Jewish Disney princess with magical Jewish Disney powers and shit, you know? Like, we get Tony Kushner to write this shit, um, get Steven Spielberg to direct it, uh, keep Lynn manuel Miranda, he's cool, he's fun, he can stay, uh, you know. What can I say except L'Chaim? Like, <laughs> I'm part of a family, Mazel Tov, whoa! Where everything is very Yiddish and loud. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't do song parodies. Yeah. <laughs> where, where am I at, Dave? Seven minutes. Set, wow, I did two song parodies and I'm, oh, I have not done yet. Fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm married to a stage manager. Um, we've been together for like 12 years. Married for like one or two. Um, Living with a stage manager is tricky, actually, because she left some glow tape in front of the bathroom. I couldn't poop for a week. <laughs> she told me that joke wouldn't make sense because the glow tape doesn't stop you. It's the caution tape that stops you, you know? Um, um, you know, so I was wrong. But I got a C-plus in stage management in college, so, like, you know, don't at me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cool. <laughs> I like you guys. All right. Let's see. I'm going to hit eight. I'm going to hit eight time, right? Just, just okay. All right. All right. Let, me do, let me do the thing. Let me do the thing that I came up here to say, because I know we're all thinking about it. I'm going to fucking say it, all right? One of my favorite pieces of movie trivia is, did you know that Will Smith turned down the lead role in The Matrix? Yeah. yeah. They offered Neo to Will fucking Smith, okay? <laughs> And they offered Morpheus to Sean Connery. Oh. <laughs> First off, Frankenstein's nail is not without a sense of irony. Like that. <laughs> I will invent a time machine to go back in time, change the timeline, and see that fucking movie. But um, what I want to know is like, what would like the Will Smith like friendly, family friendly rap tie-in song have been like? <laughs> you know, because like, he did one for Men, Men in Black, West, uh, Wild Wild West. You know what I mean? Or like. Something like that. Um, That's great. I know what you're all thinking. You're probably like, how does this guy with his active social calendar come up with the time to think of this shit? <laughs> all right, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> now this is a story all about how I... Matrix. <laughs> in a generic green city, born and raised in the office, was 
where I spent most of my days, chilling out, hacking, relaxing, all cool, and all chasing white rabbits like the damn fool. But I got the big guys who were all dressed the same. Came to lock me up for my hacking name. I couldn't climb to the roof because I got too scared, and then they put me on a table for a word on my name. My name is Alex Simmons, and thank you for coming to see my comedy show. Thank you.